Hello and welcome to another episode of DIY with the German Guy. In today's episode I wanted to show you an Amiga mouse adapter I built from an Arduino Nano and a cannibalized 9-pin cable. So without further ado, let's get started. Here's what it looks like. I soldered a Arduino Nano onto this carrier board, which uh, in a prototype I just used these uh, these uh, quick adapters, pins, whatever you want to call them, jumper pins, to do to test my connections. Once I had them all figured out, then I just used this thin wire to solder everything together and then this is the end result. It needs an external power here from this uh, USB and this connects to the mouse, you have a PS2 mouse adapter. You actually need a PS2 mouse, it doesn't work necessarily with regular USB mice. So this is an actual PS2 mouse and it works fine with that. And then here's my cannibalized 9 pin adapter that I kind of glued together with some Gorilla Glue. Here, this is what it looks like. And then this and then leads here to the mouse and then this right here is just a standard power USB cable for, um, for powering up the Arduino and also this is also the programming port. I'll provide a link to my github with the software where you can download the software if you want and the pinouts. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, it's basically just like these data pins here go to the 9 pin connector. Um, let's see, yeah, so it's like D2, D2 through D8 go to the 9 pin connector for uh, X, Y mouse buttons, uh, X, Y direction, and the uh, left, middle, and right mouse button. I'm also supporting the middle mouse button with my library. And then it uses the power here and all right, so here you can see my test setup. I've got the USB power adapter here, going to the device, to the Arduino Nano. Then the other USB cable goes to my mouse. And the nine pin adapter goes to the Amiga, which is powered up, ready to go. And here's the result. Uh, let's see if you can see the mouse. Yeah. Uh, goddamn stroke effect, whatever. But you can see it moves very fast and the mouse button is pretty responsive too. So I can go like, let's up prepare the hard drive. Uh, let's see, clean up here, window, clean up, here we go. Clean up my window, there we go. Okay, now here, we want to run the shell, double click and it goes very responsive. So yeah, mouse works really fast, love it. Anywho, there's the Gorilla Glue that I used and yeah, there you go. Again, link is in the description. Also, this Amiga will go be going up for sale, just saying. So check my eBay. I'll leave a link in the description as well. Bye. So hope you enjoyed today's episode of DIY with the German Guy. And until next time, bye bye.